July the 30th, 2021. Guys, you're looking at uh, the array that I've set eight of my solar panels on. I have 12 panels, they're 100 watts each, and each four panels are separate system. You're looking at our little nine acres of paradise here. It's all trees, the entire thing, uh, except for where our house is, and it's covered in trees, but it's really about 15 degrees cooler than it is if you in the open. But anyway, I talked about this solar panel mount that I made that you can tilt up or down and move the whole thing east or west. So with one hand, the way I've designed this is you can grab one of these panels and tilt it up or down. I'll go through and tilt all of the all of them up or down and with just one hand. The reason for that is your sun's and it's lower in the winter and it is higher in the summer. So Again, one hand movement, I'm moving that uh, panel down. You can do all eight on this rack like this because I've got, uh, there's not, the panels are only mounted in the middle. Now I'm moving it back up, leveling with the other panels. That's cool in itself. You've got these two inch straps and you're dealing with two inch metal pipe you can get at Home Depot. Instead of mounting all the corners, you mount them here. It's very snug, but it does allow them to turn. Now. You can also grab the entire pole back here and move all four panels, actually all eight panels, at the same time. Watch this. So they went up and down. Now I'm moving east and west. That trick is in the ground. That's because there's about two and a half feet of concrete. And the way you achieve this is that you let it set for a day, come out and move that pipe in that concrete, and it will open up a, <clears throat> a path of movement. Then... Let it set another day and put your panels on it. But the trick is a homemade mount on the very back, and I'll show you pictures of that again. One hand moving eight panels. That's 800 watts. I have another section that has just four panels on it that I'm taking down. They're still plugged in. I'm still getting 1,200 watts, but I want to move them up closer to this section because I put them in last year, guys, and I'm starting to see the trees and how, where the growth is and the leaves and all. But on the back, Again, you've got one two-inch pipe. These come in 10-foot ten uh, ten sections and uh, two going across. And these mounts, I need to paint them. They're quarter-inch steel. And there are eight holes that you drill in those particular uh, steel panels. And if you can see this, two of these U-bolts hold this section to the panel. This is a little closer look. So you've got your upright two inch ten foot pipe and your cross pipes here are u bolts this can uh, connect your crossbars to the metal plate here and you can see the back of two other u bolts that connect it to the upright post very simple but it allows you to do a full movement another really good thing about it being on the ground uh, there's several reasons uh, you can move it very quickly and easy you don't have to get up on your roof and clean the panels you're not going to move them most roof mounts are not movable so you're kind of stuck where they're at and these are super efficient even on cloudy days i'm getting about 80 to 90 percent of the power that i need and that's a uh, key now the again if you look in the uh, photo on the right i've got three quarter inch this gray plastic electrical conduit it's running underground to my house there's three of those pipes each of the four panels are all separate. Each one goes underground, com comes down, and comes in my house. You can go over if you're interested in building a system. Right now, you can get 400 watts. That's one row of these, which is recommended. If you notice in this uh, little chart here, it's perfect for a camper. Now, you're going to need some batteries, and you're going to need a uh, charge controller and an inverter. I'm going to get into that a little deeper, but right now, if you want to start building your system, you're going to need some panels, a charge controller, and some batteries. For every four panels, I use two of these deep cell 100-amp uh, hour batteries. Now, I've wired them in uh, what's called a 24-volt system to where I'm getting 200-amp hours out of six batteries because I've got three sections of these four panels. All are independently operated. It's redundancy at its max. In other words, so you got a charge controller right here, it goes out. Then each of my four panels has one of those. Then you're gonna, I got again six batteries 
and you're going to need an inverter. I'm not going to get into a lot of it, but the inverter will take the the uh, DC voltage from your batteries and convert it to AC so you can use it in your camp or in your home. And with, I'm about to add four more panels and go up to 1600 watts. But 1200 watts will do a lot, guys. If you've got the right um, convert, inverter, excuse me, you want a pure sine wave, and I'm going to go into it in the next video and get into detail. Plus, I can draw up uh, schematics for your wiring and how you can do that. But again, with the panels all separated, four per pipe going into the house, wired separately, that allows me to put this way out in the front yard. If you put all your panels onto one wire, guys, you're gonna, it's going to be extremely large wire, and you're not going to be able to get very far away from your batteries and your sources. But this is just something to look at. Now, at AccuPower, this is a link on our website. Remember, you if you come in and I think it's automatic, the BP EarthWatch code gets you 10% off this $315 for four panels. That's one free. And also, say your batteries are 229 guys. That's just you're something you're going to have to suck up. Don't get cheap batteries. These are the about the cheapest you can get, but they're uh, they're perfect for what you want. And you're, again, you're going to get 10% off the 229 Not only that, you have a couple of pay options where you can get four payments interest free take it take a look at that and um, see what you see what you want to do again this is something that generators will will always have to have fuel all you have to have is the sun for this right and if the sun ever goes out the earth is going to freeze very quickly so you won't have to worry about that again but guys it's just a kind of the way I've done my system I can go and I will go into detail on the wiring and some of the assembly especially on the inside that's where the really workhorse system is as far as the inverter charger charge controllers and battery uh, battery bank but I want to just put this up and kind of give you an idea of what we're doing uh, I suggest for a home a minimum of 1,200 watts, and that's not going to run everything. It's not going to run your 220 stuff, but it will run your air conditioner, uh, your all your lights, TVs, computer, fans, uh, deep freeze. But 220 um, is something that you can do, but it's going to require a lot more power. But again, this is what we're doing. Think about the cost, think about what you're looking at, and if you're ready to do it, go ahead and start getting your equipment. If you're going to use four panels, take advantage of this section on the left here. You're saving a hundred bucks right there, plus another 10% uh, because you're going through our company. And you're going to need some inverters and batteries. This is the battery that you'll see on the website at AccuPower. I've had mine for a year, and they're perfect. You never have to fill them with anything. They're completely sealed. Now, before you get into the charge controllers, I want to go through that because there are different amperages. If you got four panels, they're five amps a piece, so that's 20 amps. If you got 400 watts, 20 amps, and 80 volts. That's E equals I times R in electronics. In other words, your panels will put up about, about 20 volts a piece into your battery bank at five amps at 100 watts. And so, each of my four rays are pegging 80 watts on a, just a average day, and it will go higher than that um, with direct sun, and it only creep down to about 70 when it's cloudy. <clears throat> and when we were in that ice storm, it was cloudy and raining and ice and all that, and uh, I was still getting power. But I could tilt these panels down. If you were in a hailstorm or something like that, you don't want a direct impact or you don't want the ice to build up on them. It's just really cool. And today, before I did this, I took my boat brush, you know, the long brushes you clean your boat with, and a bucket of dawn and water, and came out and cleaned them because it's sitting on the ground. Very easy to maintain. No falling off the house. And uh, no slipping on ice. And the I guess the key thing to me was not only that, but the ability for me to point these up or down and in any direction to maximize my power at all time. And it's manual. You don't have to have the big $1,000 electronic movement systems. This one was uh, less than 100 bucks for the panels, excuse me, for the piping and the brackets. 
So that's a way to go. If you start ordering a lot of other type bar brackets, most of them are fixed or they're, you may can tilt them up or down, but maybe not left and right. So this is a way to do it. Go back, pause the video at that point and see what you think. I can give you, um, and I will make a list of some things you're going to need, but uh, I'll also do draw a diagram of that steel plate that the U-boats are holding the two-inch pipes together on so that it all works in tandem. But guys, uh, we got some problems in the Atlantic. That storm's getting bigger. It's already uh, a, it's got a number. I think it's number five. It will be LC, E-L-S-E, -E, Tropical Storm. That could be tonight, but I'm going to have a full video on that coming up shortly after this loads. So heads up, guys. Be safe. All the links go to bpearthwatch.com. Save some money. So heads up. Be safe.